Oh. Isn't it heaven? Oh, Can't you just hardly wait to see what happens? I really I, I, And I'm on the tenth script, and I can still hardly wait to see what happens, you know. You got it. Okay, guys. If I'm allowed to predict uh, the next giant hit on network television, I'm going to take Flamingo Road. And one of the reasons is sitting with me today, the beautiful Barbara Rush. Barbara, this is a great show. It's taken off in the ratings. It's exciting. Oh, you started off so well with me. <laughs> <laughs> we can only go up. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Well, I think, yes, I think that it's, uh, we thought so from the beginning. The minute I was sent this script, I said, aha, uh -huh. I think that's what people want to see. It's the kind of show they want to see. It's full of intrigue and mystery and suspense and all kinds of, um, oh, you know, those wonderful books you read and you think, oh, God, is that the parent of that child? There's not one legitimate child born on our show. <laughs> and, the, and, and, and the puzzle is to find out who the parent really was, <laughs> you know, that yeah. kind of thing. And I just can hardly wait to read those scripts. But besides that, you have some rather nice people on the show, and I'm one of them. Yeah. And uh, uh, I like playing this lady if I can make her uh, a rather effective woman with style and with purpose. I think there are ladies like this all over sure. America, perhaps all over the world, that um, they're not professional women, but they're, they are the ones who have a sense of beauty, perhaps, or a sense of elegance or a sense of culture that uh, plant the flowers in the roadways, that bring lunches to the children at school, that make sure that there's a library, that make sure uh, things happen in the community that uh, that would not be there mm -hmm. but for them. They're the ones who work on the committees and the charities and so forth. And I think people like, uh, women like Eudora Weldon are purposeful. They, they stand for the good and they stand, they keep they keep they keep they keep civilization going. Interesting. You won't they? have any trouble putting style in any role, but I certainly hope not. I've asked for a lot more money on the wardrobe budget. Uh, I'll yeah. tell you that. <laughs> is this one of them? And this is one of them. Yes. Yes. This is this is one of Eudora's suits. That's why I wore it today. I thought I'd better appear Terrific. to you in character. Indeed. Yeah. Speaking of characters, she's, she's best dressed. That's what Eudora oh, Weldon is. Gorgeous. Best dressed. Huh? Great cast. Some terrific people. I love Howard Duff. Uh, well, you see, the thing is about a show like this, if you're going to do this kind of thing, this kind of show with this kind of story, then you get the best people possible, and I think they did. We've got Howard, who's a wonderful actor, oh, yeah. and he's kind of the focal point of the show, and he's the one that causes all the problems. Mm -hmm. He's just so manipulative. He's a devious, evil man, just out for no good at all. And um, I like my character because I'm always, I'm not afraid of him. I'm the, about the only person in the cast not afraid of him. I really face him. Even your husband, Kevin McCarthy. He's afraid, he's of, him. afraid of him. Everybody's afraid of him but me. Why? I, am, I think it's because she's a woman of great strength of character. Mm -hmm. She's just not afraid of anybody mm -hmm. because she is, she's, a good, she's truly a good person. Uh -huh. She's not a good ugh, person. You know, I hate good people on TV that are doormats. I can't stand that. Mm -hmm. So, but she's not like that. She's very strong. And she's not afraid of him at all. And she faces him down every time. I think really good people die for it, you see. I don't think they have that much fear because they, they feel if they are morally right, they will die for that. And it's very hard to frighten them. Indeed. One, yeah. f one final question. We're running out of time. Briefly, what has success given you and what has it taken away? Well, not as much as it's going to, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I intend to be uh, very successful so and very soon <laughs> with Flamingo Road. I'll bet. Oh, success has brought wonderful things. Uh, I think I love the acting profession. First of all, it brings you, it makes you a part of everything. Poor people love you, rich people love you. I have met every king and queen in this world. I've met most politicians in this world, but most importantly, I have met little char women in Ireland who asked me to come in out of the cold and share a cup of tea with them. Okay. Uh, if you're an actor, people just accept you. I think it's an old tradition from the minstrels, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we entertain the world. We bring laughter and music and song and drama to the world. And so people accept us, hopefully. Sure. And uh, I've enjoyed that, that people love meeting us. People are always very happy to meet me, which just thrills the life out of me. I adore that. So, uh, and I've made a good living from it. I mean, isn't that just, you know, the strawberry on top of the cake? <laughs> that I've made a good living as well. Because I tell you, I pay them to do what I do. I love acting so much. I always have. Well, we love your in role in Flamingo Road, and we wish you very well. Oh, thank you. Barbara Rush, Frank Bassoni in Hollywood.